Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to rig the lips and inner mouth. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow along, I left a link below to the full workshop library for this series. Let's deconstruct the rig. To start off, let's quickly create the jaw control using the free control module. I'm going to create it under the head module, mark it as facial, and set the control shape to a cube. Again, I'll place it using a help locator I already created. I'll also import skin weights I created between videos. Let's construct this module and make sure it behaves correctly. Everything works well. I'll deconstruct and keep going. Let's move on to the lips, which are usually the most challenging component in a facial rig. Although, Block will make this process very easy for us. Block contains a lips module, so this is what we're going to use, of course. This module uses another variation of MNS Curve Zip node called MNS Lip Zip. This is quite a complicated node, but Block will do all of the heavy lifting for us. This module is very similar to the Curve Zip B module we already used, and so is the process. I'll create it under the head module again and move to the module settings tab. At the top, we see something we are familiar with, the vertex list attribute. We're going to use it the same way we did for the eyelids, and the guidelines for it remain the same. The expected input is two halves of a closed loop, one upper and one lower section, selected in the same direction. Let's take a quick look at our topology and make sure it matches the requirements. We have a closed loop with an even number of vertices, two corner edges, and corresponding upper and lower edges as parallel as possible. I'm going to isolate a face loop to make my selection easier. I'm going to use the inner part of this face loop since this is the edge I want to seal. Remember, the sections needs to start and end with the same corner vertices and be selected in the same direction. I'll start with the upper section and input it into the upper edge verts attribute then do the same for the lower section. Let's peek at the tweak controls layer to make sure we create 5 tweakers for the secondary layer, just like we had in the eyelids. I'll create the guides without adjusting any other setting to see the basic result. As we expected, and just like the eyelids, our joint structure is created one join for every vertex in the lists. Now I want to place my root guide in a rough center position. What I usually do to determine this position is create a sphere and try to place and scale it to roughly represent my mouth area. This position is important as it will be used to create the up vectors for the entire setup. Also, in case we want to use the around center option, this position will be our center. I also see two custom guides. These will determine the lips curl pivots, since the curls need to be controlled from a different pivot, as they are rotation based, so let's place these as well. I'll set the upper above the upper lip, and the lower below the lower lip, both roughly in the middle of the mesh thickness. Let's construct quickly, just to see the basic behavior. We will take a look at the joints only for now. It's also slightly difficult to see since the controls are very close to one another, but we will adjust these as we progress. What I have is a global control, two main primary corner controls, two primary mid controls, and a tweaker's secondary layer. This is a great start. I can already see the main behavior here, but let's see what needs to be adjusted. First, the jaw. It is currently disconnected, so we definitely need to address that. Also, looking at the mesh, the joints feel like they need to follow the mesh's shape a bit closer, right? So let's deconstruct and address these problems. I'll load the lips module settings again. First, to connect the jaw, we have a tailored attribute called jaw root guide. So I'll input my jaw control root guide, of course. For the guided movement, we have two options. The first one is the around center feature, 
which will normalize all of the movement vectors around a center matrix, just like our eyelids behavior. So let's see that first. I'll update and construct the jaw and lips modules. First of all, the jaw is now connected to the setup correctly, so that's one down. Now let's test the around center behavior, which by the way is animatable post construction. It's an improvement, but now it feels too limiting. Let's deconstruct again and take a look at the second option. The second option is to use the along surface layer. This module contains a custom along surface behavior, this is why the core attribute is disabled. So just like the eyebrows, I created a NURBS guide surface for the lips. I'm going to check the do along surface attribute and input my surface. Remember to skin the surface. In this example, I skinned the top part to the head and the bottom part to the jaw to follow the mesh's main deformation. Let's construct again and compare. Great, that looks much better. I think this is a good time to attach our skin. Like in previous videos, I already created the skin weights for the lips, so I'll add the new joints into my skin cluster and import my weight so we can see how I created them. To begin with, I followed the exact same process I demonstrated when rigging the eyelid, where I flooded each edge to its corresponding joint. Then I created a mask, relaxed it, as well as relaxed the weights. I relaxed the weights in some areas more than others, as well as manually painted some weights around the mouth corner. Really nothing fancy, 95% of these weights were created procedurally. So now, let's take a look at the result. I think that looks pretty good, right? But we can do better. There's one more feature I want to add here, the cheek raise. Let's deconstruct. In the lips module settings, let's open the cheek raise dropdown. This feature will create a very simple raise and push driven keys style behavior using math nodes. This feature was created so we can connect another control to the lips corners, to add it into the corner raise setup. Since we don't want the cheek area to be a part of the lips weights, but we actually do want it to be a part of the deformation when raising the mouth corner. I'll input the cheek root guide we created in the previous video into the left side slot. I'll also change the push axis to X, since our guide is oriented with the x-axis pointing out. And while we're here, I'll activate the secondary B controls layer for even finer control. Let's construct again and see the result. That looks better, but still, the corner deformation is a bit off. So what I'm going to do is pull the cheek skin weights layer above the lips layer. Of course, this is only possible with NG skin tools, again, highly recommended. I made sure my cheek weights are nicely smooth and round, so once I place these weights above the lips layer, it will result in a much fleshier feel to the deformation. Let's take a look at the difference. That's much better. Of course, we can adjust the raise and push values for the cheek to fine tune its behavior. We can save these adjusted values as defaults, of course. I also have the additional secondary control layer for extra fine control. I'll read the inner mouth off screen since there's nothing new there, 
as well as adjust the control shapes. Then we'll review it. I used a free control module for the main upper teeth control parented under the head module and another below it to tweak the teeth shape if needed. I did the same for the lower teeth parented under the jaw module. For the tongue, I used the FK chain module with five sections. I also added the embedded IK layer for extra control and twists. Let's review the entire setup. We have a jaw control which is connected to the lip setup. A global lips control that contains some animatable module settings and below global upper and lower lip controls. These can be translated as well as scaled. Use the Z rotation for the S shapes and X rotations for the lip curls, which are based on the pivots we selected. They also contain extra channels for additional global control. We have two primary corner controls with a cheek raise feature, all guided by our input surface, as well as zip controls for both. A primary 5 controls tweak layer and a secondary 9 controls layer for the upper and lower sections of the lips, both following the related parent layer. Also, on our main lip control, a corners follow animatable attributes to fine tune the mouth open behavior. We have tongue FK and IK controls with twist, stretch, and scalability, as well as some teeth controls. In my opinion, this is a very flexible setup, which offers the ability to reach quite extreme poses, and all this only with a skin cluster. I highly recommend opening this rig, it is very fun to play with. Please let me know what you think when you do. Let's conclude here and move on to the next video. Please like, share and subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.